what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are here with season four episode five and six of the last kingdom um last episode was really really uh, a couple of episodes that really went down man um we lost some characters man uh, we lost mr biaka one of the MVPs of the show. Um, also, you know, big battle went down. And I'm losing, straight up losing respect for Edward. I know he has to do it. He, he's a very, they're trying to, to write him just like how they write Alfred. And in some ways, it's kind of becoming a stick, which I, I, I don't particularly like. But at the same time. We're still like ha just halfway through the season. Um, so I don't want to presume anything yet. I don't want to presume anything yet. I want to see how it progresses and how he learns. He's he's young and he's also a very new king. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see how he progresses and how he becomes better and better at it, understanding certain things. So I'm not going to count him out yet as a quote unquote bad king. But he's definitely heading down a road that i don't like also i've talked about this extensively that i like the redemption arc that they're kind of bringing with elswith right of her now realizing the things that alfred used to do you know what i'm saying um going beyond um beyond just the self-serving stuff and just kind of like learning that some things that you did was wrong and trying to to go down a better path you know what i'm saying she's not perfect in what she's doing right now but i'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt for certain things because she's actively trying to change certain things about herself realizing even though she's still arguing towards certain things even arguments she had with bayaka and stuff like that before he left um winchester you know but she's actively learning that these things that she did was not right. And she's trying to, in some way, trying to correct those things while still protecting Wessex and all of this other stuff. So let's see how it goes. And I'll see you guys for the review. so that was the last kingdom episodes five and six of season four we're almost there four more episodes to go and we will all be caught up with the last kingdom then i'll be moving on to another series anyways i appreciate you guys man i really do for sticking it out <laughs> you know but these two episodes were good man etheread kind of gotten a, a better death than i expected him to get at least, you know, he was asking for forgiveness. He, you know, he was sorry for how he treated Ethelfled and all that stuff, you know. And the way how he went out, you know, he was already dying. But for whatever his name is, the Ed, Airwolf, Ed, 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 Edwolf, whatever his fucking name is, it, dumbass. Um, I'm so glad that his sister, um, eared him out, you know, cause she witnessed the murder and, you know, yeah, so ain't no kingdom you getting, but now they got ammo to go back to Edward to go back and say, yeah, this is the guy you, this is the people you keep trusting. This are, this is the stuff you keep doing. And I'm glad that that Elswith is giving him a tongue lashing over there because he's not making no good decisions, man, because he keeps listening to this dumbass Elm, Ethel Helm or whatever his name is. Um, he keeps listening to that dude. That dude is is he's just out for his own. And that's the worst type of people that you could listen to that is advising. They just, they're not in the, in, not in the interest of anything else, but their own. Or oh, he just want to grow his stem. Just want his grandson to become king so he can, 
so he can rule, you know what I'm saying? So he can rule through his grandson or live vicariously through his grandson. It's just, and then you have the queen. Oh my God. I don't know. Maybe you guys like her. I don't like her. I mean, not, and it's not because she, you know what I'm saying? In my eyes, she's a little ugly. You know what I'm saying? She ugly. I don't like her face. I don't like how she looks. She got a little ass head with big ass eyes. I don't particularly like women that look like that. That's just my opinion. You know, other people might like her. I mean, she's just not particularly good looking to me. Um, so that's just me. I don't know for you guys. Maybe she looked good to you guys. In any case, um, loving me some Edith or whatever she, her name is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's the only redhead in the show right now, which I, you guys already heard me talk about redheads. Like, you know what I mean? She's the number one in the show. Right? She's the best looking woman on the show right now. But, you know, the story for this show is it's amazing. It's amazing. And sometimes, you see, I didn't even pause that much this one because this one was just full of really rich dialogue that I needed to pay attention to. I was going on. There were some happenings that happened. You know, this sickness that they're talking about, they cause it, call it a fever. You guys can tell me historically correctly what was that. Was it like dengue fever or, or something like that? I don't know what sickness exactly you're talking about. It could have been just a regular flu. For all I know, because I mean, anything and anything used to kill people back then because they didn't have vaccines and cure for anything, really. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, um, hopefully, oh, what's her name? Eth Flynn? Is it Eth Flynn? Else, I can't, I can't, I don't remember her name. Eth Flynn? I'm pretty sure, um, let me see in the credits here. Is it Elf? It's Elfwin. Yeah, Elfwin is her name. Elfwin. 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 And we got Athelstan or Ethelstan. Ethelstan, not Athelstan. Ethelstan, right? Yeah. Right, so we got Elfwin and Ethelstan, right? As the two kids, right? pretty much yeah so i'm um, hopefully that she she's gonna be okay because they're saying uh, even Uhtred is saying that she's the future <sighs> i don't know how what that means you get what i'm saying i don't know what that means <sighs> edward needs to make ethelflaed the lord of um the lord of mercia that's what he needs to do. That's what he should do. But would the elder men be okay with that? Probably not. You know, so, I mean, they probably wouldn't be okay with it overall because she's a woman. You know, so I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do with this particular storyline for this season so far. I have no predictions. All I know is that there's there's inner situations now more Danes that just came from from Ireland, right? More Danes now they're coming over to Wales to attack Wales. So, I don't know how that's going to happen. Maybe this guy now going to have to seek help now to to um to um to overcome these new Danes that are coming in now, you know? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. All I can say is that the story is fire and the acting is always on point. And as I said, it's a story that you can follow point by point, you know, with little predictability about where the script is going. So, you just have to sit there in anticipation and be like, oh my God, what is what, what is next? What is next? You want this to happen, but that's not the scene. I didn't really see, I thought Ethelred, I thought he would have survived. I'm not even going to lie. I'm th I thought Ethelred would have survived, but the head injury was too much. Plus, 
we don't even know if he would have survived because Mr. Airwolf or whatever, whatever his name is, Airwolf, he decided to kill freaking Ethelred. I'm so glad that his sister saw. I have a, I have a newfound respect for her, Edith, for doing that. You know, even though she could have do, done it before, um, and I think certain things wouldn't have happened if she had did it before. But then again, she's also worried about the fact that nobody believes her because she's a whore. But she she had proof. She could have proven it. You know what I'm saying? So that was cool. I'm glad she spoke up when she did because they probably would have taken Elfwyn. And um, that kid is in no position to be nobody's betrothed. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is a child. I don't understand where these rules come from. That child, it looked like she's like maybe 10. Maybe 10. She looks even younger than that. It's ridiculous. But in any case, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I appreciate y'all. Just remember to like this video. Like the, com um, like the comment. Leave a comment. And also subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.